Hello everyone and welcome to the newest Landlord Vision update. We're here to tell you a little bit about what we've been doing in quarter two of this year and um, if you'd like to see more from us make sure that you follow the channel and do like this video so that we know that we're not just talking to nobody and <laughs> you can see future videos from us. So here to talk about what we have been doing in quarter two is wants to go first. I'll go first. Talk about this bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so in support of, uh, of well, of, let's start again. So I've mainly been working on the support uh, tickets, the weird and wonderful uh, questions that you keep coming up with. So uh, we enjoy your challenge. So keep keep them coming. I've been working on the support guides for the learning lounge as well. Um, updating them and adding new ones as the software develops. So that's me. Thank you. Over to the next one. Oh no, Ben. R rugby. All oh, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In other news, uh, Landlord Vision are proud sponsors of a local grassroots uh, under ten rugby team called Banky Bulls, which happens to be the team that my son plays for. So that sponsorship has secured kits for them and some equipment. So yeah. Thank you for that landlord vision. Um, I'll I'll take over then. Following on from Ben, so landlord vision's almost been live for for twelve months. So we've been reaching out to our customers to get feedback, see what they like about it, what anybody don't likes about about it. I have to say that list is very small, which is brilliant. Thank you very much. Um, we've also been reaching out to other third parties to build in uh, integrations and relationships that we feel are going, going to enhance Landlord Vision and just the whole customer uh, you know, experience with us and the software as well. So we hope to see um, some of that come to fruition the rest of this year. Um, and yeah, that's about it really from, from me anyway, because uh, Roy's, Roy's got the big headline. <laughs> I've been doing demos, more and more and more demos. So we've seen a, another increase in the amount of new inquiries coming through. So obviously I'm um, hiding away most days, carrying out demos back to back, which is great news. Um, yeah, more and more people looking to, to use us. Um, off the back of that, we're getting, again, a lot of feedback, not only from prospects, but as Em said, from current customers as well, um, which is uh, allowing us to shape our development, which I'm sure Nick and Roy will, uh, will talk about in more detail. Uh, but I've been working closely with those two, as well as the, the wider team to, um, you know, see how we can implement some of these larger changes that are coming over the, the coming months uh, as well. And I've been working on a project with Manchester University, um, looking at potentially using AI in Landlord Vision and how we can use it and whether it's something our customers want to see. So uh, some of you may have seen um, a survey that's gone out asking you about it. Some of you may have spoken to the MPA team, which is great. So we're just getting towards the end of that project now. So um, yeah, next quarter is going to be very exciting, but it was a really incredible project to be part of. And yeah, the team at Manchester University were absolutely outstanding. So that that was very enjoyable. So. Um... I am going to talk about what we have been working on and what we have released over the last three months or so since we last did one of these videos. Uh, it's a long list, um, so I hope you're all sitting comfortably. Uh, there's a lot to get through. So we shall start off with, um, well, the at the end of the last video, we were just working on some of the, the new property features. Uh, so we just launched the white and brown goods where you can track your warranty expiry, expiry dates. We now have utility suppliers uh, where you can track your utility suppliers. Uh, same with your meter readings. And we've also got a section for target events so you can keep an eye on those. And we've also got a gallery so you can put in all your images and keep a, a lot of those stored together as well. Uh, within these sections, uh, there's also an option that's called share with tenants and it's not on the meter reading you fool <clears throat> uh, share with tenants that allows you to put that information onto what we call the welcome pack so we head down to the tenancy and i go into the tenancy for that property head to the documents area 
And within there, I can go to the legal documents area, select the welcome pack, and I can then add that to the software, or I can download that straight to my own uh, device and then send them on to the tenants. Also in the tenancy, we now have check-in and check-out rules, uh, lists, I should say. So you can click on these and update what's been going on. And then the activity log gives a record of what you actually did and when, so you can see that in there too. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, so many. Head down to the banking area, into the bank account. Uh, we now have some filter options on the reconcile page. I'm sure many of you will be very pleased about. Uh, so you can sort by show me um, spent or received or choose a time period. So if you just if you've got data going back a long way, you only want to see the most recent stuff. You can set it to just show the most recent data. We can show the oldest first or the latest, or you can even just type in a name if I just want to do a particular tenancy. Show me those ones, and I can just start reconciling those as I go along. Got a couple of reports. Go into the reports area. Uh, we now have, I just referred to the Tiger Rinse. So the Tiger Rinse also has a report. So you can go into here and you can see, again, it's another sort of overview of the performance of your um, portfolio. So you can see these um, stages of your properties and whether they are performing at, above, or below target. And the other report that we have is the cash flow report. So again, another monitor so you can check all your ins and outs and what your opening and closing balances are and what your future uh, position will be in a few months time a couple of other features down the bottom here we've got uh in the events area the calendar now shows future rents uh, which you didn't do before but it now does and also expenses i show you on to next month i can now see all of next month's rents and what's due and when. And a final two things I wanted to cover. We've got uh, the tasks area. I can now set up an email reminder so I can be notified on or before the due date and at a particular time and send that out to a user. And finally, I can also take a task with the information in it and I can convert that into a worksheet down the back of the PDF or send that directly from the software by email. Uh, so that's quite a few bits of pieces we've been working on over the last three months. And um, we've got plenty more coming up uh, this uh, next quarter as well. Thank you, Roy. <laughs> uh, so as, as we have seen from Roy's presentation, there have been quite a lot of changes and features that we have been working in the previous quarter. So unfortunately, uh, there were some features that uh, we didn't have time to implement and uh, which were planned for the previous quarter, such uh, as the ability to uh, create repeating mortgage payments with uh, interest and uh, capital payments, uh, as well as uh, the option to create uh, landlord statements for small dating agents. Uh, as in the previous team video, uh, again, I'm going to disclose uh, our plans for, for the next uh, months, uh, which include some major developments such as uh, adding um, a tenant uh, portal. Uh, we will also work on a tenant service desk and uh, a property maintenance module. This will be our uh, primary priorities uh, for the next uh, three months or so. Um, again, we will try to fit into our schedule uh, the option to create, uh, uh, to set up mortgage payments, uh, as well as uh, the ability to uh, generate landlord statements. And uh, also, as Kat mentioned, uh, we have worked on an AI research project with a team of MBA students. So the next phase uh, would be to create a roadmap for uh, the integration of uh, a solutions with landlord vision, adding value to uh, users of landlord vision. So busy quarter for us and um, another busy few months to come. 
So as we said earlier, if you want to make sure that you don't miss our next quarterly update, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. And you, that means that you'll also see all of Em's brilliant videos as well and tutorials. Um, drop us a like uh, just because it's nice to know that you guys are watching. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.